After you finish your workbook, Excel 2013 has many options for saving, printing, exporting, and sharing it. And you'll find all those options here in the Backstage. Like Save As. Typically, you save a file to your computer. But you could also save a workbook to an online service, like Office 365 SharePoint and SkyDrive. I've already logged on to my account in Excel, so now I can save the workbook to my SkyDrive the same way I'd save it to my computer. Only now I can access it from any computer connected to the Internet. Click Share after you save a workbook if you want to share it with others. Or you can export it in a number of other file types, such as PDF. Now you have a pretty good idea of what's involved in making the switch from Excel 2003 to Excel 2013. There's just one more thing you should know, and it's about compatibility. In the second video, we converted an Excel 2003 XLS file to the new XLSX format. The two formats are different, but in most cases you'll only run into a problem when you want to share your workbook with someone who uses Excel 2003. If that's the case, you have two options. The first option is to save the file in the older XLS format. Here's how to do that. First, in Excel 2013, go to the Backstage. With Info selected here, click Check for Issues, and then run the Compatibility Checker. The Compatibility Checker checks to see if there will be any problems when saving in the older format. Take a look at the results, and modify the workbook if you feel that's necessary. Finally, click Save As. Choose a location, and then in the Save As dialog box, change the Save As type to Excel 97 to 2003. Now the person you're sharing the file with can open the workbook in the older version of Excel. The second option for the person using Excel 2003 is to download an add-in called the Compatibility Pack. After they install it on their computer with Excel 2003, they can open XLSX files in their older program. A link to the compatibility pack is available at the course summary. So that's it. You should have all the information you need to make the switch to Excel 2013. Of course, there's always more to learn. So check out the course summary at the end for more information on Excel 2013.